Tough facts, for sure. I won't beat it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just like everybody else would, just being in the building. I've been working a lot with our training staff, our, you know, strength and conditioning coaches, just getting in, working pass rush run, all the things you see a D lineman doing, just trying to be consistent every day. When you did that um, last season self scout at the end of the year, and you went back and you, you watched your film, mm -hmm. um, what, what did you identify as maybe some, some areas that you, you were disappointed in that you wanted to? Improve. Yeah, for me, pass rush, that was one. Obviously, you want to, as a D tackle, D and D lineman, you want to get back there more. But I mean, you look at all aspects of your game, and at the end of the day, everybody needs to improve. So I looked at everything. Run game from from zero to 10, I looked at everything. So try to work on every piece of that. You guys are switching fronts. You're going to be more of a of attacking kind of 4 3 than you were a kind of read and react mm -hmm. from last year. Just how much do you think that suits your game more and, and the guys that you guys have up front being more attacking play on, on the heels of the offense? Yeah, I like that. I mean, we, me and the guys have been talking. That's what we wanted all along. I mean, a lot of us, you know, that's a lot of how the college programs do it. It's a lot of how, you know, people like to do it. People just like to go up, hit people, knock heads. So I think we're excited for it. I, I think it's a great plan for our defense. So I think we'll all show up. You seem to be a little more subdued than Jamal was, but <laughs> is it the same level of excitement coming into this season, even though it's Matt? Um, I think it's a lot more excitement. I mean, you can feel it. That I know you can feel it with Jamal back there, but you can feel it with the team, man. We're on point. It just feels like it doesn't feel like a new team anymore. It feels like we're already established, and then we just continue from there. So I think I personally think we're on the up and up. Oh, a lot better. And what kind of difference has that made for your offseason? Oh, yeah, I feel a lot better. I mean, it's a it's a big difference because what they all don't realize is, you know, uh, as rookies, we play football year round. So our first break from football was this past offseason. So it was nice to get a break, you know, focus on yourself, focus on your body, relax your mind and all that. So that was important. I'm curious how your body has maybe changed this offseason. I know you've been in the weight room. Have you like lost weight, increased muscle mass? Like, I guess how has your uh, body changed? Probably damaged? increased muscle mass. I, I stay around the same weight, around 295 in there. But uh, I would say muscle mass increase. You had the, uh, the back injury. John, John was asking about how you're feeling this time I was here. Um, when, when did you, I guess, put that in the rearview mirror? And has it, you know, no recurrences, I guess, of that since? Hmm? I just the back injury. When, when, oh, did, yeah. when, have you, when did you stop feeling that? When did I stop? I mean, you don't really stop feeling it. You're, everybody's going to feel your back. It's when does it start feeling better? And about a couple months ago, I started feeling better and better and better. So now I'm at a good place where, you know, it doesn't hurt anymore. I can get off. I enjoy playing football. It's fun. Every morning I come out here, it's fun. I'm enjoying my time. So. Did you have to change anything about your, your prehab or your rehab just to, I guess, make sure you kept, kept that under control? Uh, I mean, uh, our, our uh, what's called, our medical staff takes care of all that. I mean, everybody in there from Parsons to Tom to all the guys in there, they have a good plan for me in which I do. So I think the most important thing was just getting that rest and recovery during this offseason, and that's what's helped me feel better now. How do you manage it going forward, though? Just, to, you know, if, if it was flaring up constantly during the season, mm -hmm. it could happen again while you're playing, you know, when you get in camp and all that. So what's the... Yeah, so I mean, from everything from in the morning, you know, getting heat on your back before you step out on the practice field, you know, yoga, whatever it is. Coach Jill, she works with kind of the rehab guys, so she has a bunch of stuff we got to do. Tom Parsons, they got a bunch of stuff. So, you know, for me, I don't really got to think. They they can take care of it for me, and then they got a great plan for me, so I'm happy with that. Look at a lot of the moves that was made you know, this offseason in the draft. It seemed like the defense was what was emphasized to be approved upon. How do you like that, or how competitive do you, do you envision that being? Like in training camp, with just so many guys just trying to prove themselves. Oh, we love it. I mean, I, I mean, at the end of the day, I know every team I've been, it's the defense who talks the most. It's the defense that wants to be the best. So, I think everybody has a chip on our shoulders, especially you know us rookies that are going to the second year. And you could just see it from our team, man. We're we're just out here on the field doing field work, and you just feel the camaraderie. Everybody's trying to get better. And there's a plan. There's a mission that we have that you can just feel. You don't have to say nothing, even though we're talking out there. But you can just feel it within the team. Specifically, the, the additions up front. 
Defensive line. <laughs> My bad, man. All right. <laughs> 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 the joke was no, 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 no. They go after you. They go after you. <laughs> My bad. Um, uh, specifically, the additions up front. Uh, I don't know how much you pay attention to the college football season, like when you're here, but Aiden and, and Josh, what, what are those guys going to add to the room? Oh, yeah, that's huge. I mean, I, I watched a little bit of film. Obviously, I've seen Aiden. Aiden. Aiden, and then I watched the, uh, what's the other guy's name? Josh. Josh, yeah, I watched him, and they're, they're real good players, so I'm happy to have them in. I think they come in tomorrow or something? Yeah, you have to learn their names for the game. <laughs> 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 yeah, give me one more day, I'll learn it. But yeah, I like those guys, I like their film. I was actually excited when we got Aiden. Just adds another element to our defense, so I think that'll be fun. I'm excited to work with those guys and get them in here. Justin took my question, so you're good. Oh, that was <laughs> it? <laughs> so you're excited because you get to send my donor runs this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's getting all our food. I do not care. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I need it. <laughs> uh, not to go back to the injury one more time, but just – I know you probably don't want to make excuses, but just how limiting was the back hit during the season? Yeah, it's for, I mean, it's for sure limiting, but, I mean – like you said, I don't want to make excuses. Every athlete goes through something. You know what I'm saying? If you pick any guy from out there, they got something. So I think at the end of the day, it's just about me getting better. But yeah, it, it gave me limitations, you know, moving laterally, holding my weight, holding other people's weight. Hey, AG said for the defense, the honeymoon is over. Mm -hmm. uh, has he relayed that, guys, to you? And when you look back at last season, does that drive you, kind of hack you off oh, the yeah. way with, that things went? Without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, it's a, we're an established team now. You know, our rookies are second years now. Like, it's, it's, it's like there's no room for growth now. We got to go. And I think everybody has that mindset. It's about, you know, starting at 100% at the beginning of the year, at the first preseason game, at the first practice. So that's kind of our mindset. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate it. Sorry I didn't do better than Jamal. <laughs>